Right, before I get into this video, folks, this is my main channel. This is the channel I've had since 2017. And about a year ago, uh, I, I decided to uh, use a second channel, which I was going to put Rachel's um, investigations on, um, and I decided I'd turn it into a... a, a ITC channel and that's where I do my spirit box sessions and I do them almost every morning and um, it's called life after life ITC research and um, there's a link at the end of the video to that channel if you if you're interested in ITC sessions now lately and for the last while the word spurs very rarely comes up while I'm asking questions through the spirit box and the reason for that is you know I wanted to do sessions without assumptions yes sometimes they'd say they were spirits and ghosts and that but to me they're, they're, it's just not enough and rather than making an assumption I just call them communicators and I just talk, try to talk to them the best I can and, and I've, I've tried to come away from you know how did you die and all this kind of stuff that's an assumption so you know this is the way I'm sort of moving forward with the sessions you know um, because you know there are a lot of a lot of people do do sessions and maybe they have evidence that they're talking to, you know, spirits of dead people and that. And from the past, there's been plenty of evidence of that. And and I know that. But until they come into my sessions, I can't make an assum that, that, that 100% assumptions. So, and I kind of thought too, if I died and you guys decided to do spirit box sessions on me and you managed to communicate with me and if you start asking me how did I die and all the rest of it and have you seen the light and stuff I'm going to get pissed off pretty quickly <laughs> do you know because that's not pre that's not what I really want to talk about if I, if I wanted to communicate with somebody living and I'm a spirit so to me at this moment in time without making assumptions sometimes I communicate with something something is communicating back are there spirits and ghosts I don't know I, I have no idea I can't see them until they continually tell me what they are I'm not going to jump to conclusions and say that they're spirits, you know. So I'm trying to be rational with this, but at the same time respectful. So um, this is, I've played the session back uh, and I've put this piece in at the, at the end of the video for the beginning. Some interesting stuff came up on this one, you know. And tonight I'm kind of tired. And I'm mucking about a bit. So I'm kind of joking about a bit. And I kind of got interesting sort of possible responses there. So let me know what you think in the comments. But as I says, if you're into ITC and stuff, I'm trying to I'm trying to build up a portfolio of raw sessions, not 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 you know fantastically edited production value videos you know because it's not about YouTube for me it's about the evidence and it's about the ITC and it's a you know YouTube is, is is a tool in that it's not the ultimate goal it's just the tool in that you know and um, yeah uh, you know there is a variety of different spirit boxes that I use on that other channel and a lot of you will know that I have a lot of radios. So, so you know, feel free to go over there and uh, check it out. It's called Life After Life ITC Research. 
Right, let's get into this session. this radio something goes wrong can we get a session done for the fourth time this is the cost P two five seven it's the smallest radio that I have being that size it got imported yesterday from the US as a radio, and I hacked it yesterday, which wasn't very successful. Nice. And very often people do have trouble with this hack. But I resorted to putting a bit of a uh, cable tie in along the side of the club. tune button and have a little piece of wire tied to the back of it. The main thing it works now. Who's here? Is there anybody here? My name is Sam. Feel free to talk if you can. Oh, yes. I was wondering if, if William was here tonight. Or Ian. Or Ed, or Dave, <laughs> by the way this is run by an external speaker because there's no internal speaker. Basically, it was an armband radio. radio. Right, who's here with me tonight? Thank you. 
do you think it's about time somebody told me who exactly you are? Ghosts, spirits, living people in a different dimension, beings from outer space. I have no flipping idea. I need you to tell me. Please understand that I cannot see you, but I can hear you. I see jack shit. I can't. I don't know where you are. So can you please help me out here and tell me where you are? Can somebody tell me if they can hear me, please? Because it's quarter to twelve. I want to communicate with somebody. Otherwise, I'm talking to a bright yellow radio and wasting my flipping time. Think about it. If you if you put the radio standing up that way, it looks like a cash of power washer. Who can talk to me tonight? I've been just back from the beach, it was great. Down by the sea, it was flipping fantastic. William, give me a break here and uh, help me out here, will you? I didn't love or somebody, somebody help me out here and talk. Because I need to go to bed soon.
Can you say my name? Because I don't know whether I'm talking to anyone. Say hello, Sam. can't stay on long because I had to drive a long journey with a warning light on or warning buzzer going off in my car and it was driving me fucking nuts. I had a headache by the time I got to the house. I had beep 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 for about 30 or 40 miles. It was flipping insane. It was powerful. We'll have some rain up, Master. No, I have to listen to this flipping thing. Could be worse. It could be a PSP 7. Which I couldn't cope with at this hour tonight. Say hello Sam if you can hear me right now. Otherwise I'm gonna turn the radio off. But I I don't mean to be threatening. It's just I'm tired. And there's no point in talking if nobody's listening. Who's listening to me? Please, someone talk to me. I'm 
中啊。Weather. Earth calling unknown entity. Because you won't tell me where you came from. You never flipping do. I'm not asking for much. I'm only asking you where you are. I'm not asking for your fucking phone number or your postcode. Can you just tell me where you are? Do you live in a different world, or are you not allowed to tell me? Just flip and tell me. I, I, you know. And if you say you can't tell me, I understand. Hello. Sophie. William, are you there? Any chance of somebody saying Scooby Doo? The cold word is Scooby Doo. I've been trying to get someone to say Scooby Doo for ages. Please, I'm begging you. Scooby Doo. Begging you, please, say Scooby Doo. It's now 12 midnight, so if there's any, uh, you know, some news stories are very negative, so be careful of that. It is 12 midnight and all is well. Samantha is sitting here waiting for someone to say Scooby-Doo, but nobody will say it. Come on, give me a break.
Hey, reporter. The vet. I'm in a good mood. Please understand that you have plenty of opportunities to talk here because I run radios a lot of the time. So if you're not going to talk tonight, you can talk some other night. It's fine. But I'm hoping that you'll help me understand you. I don't know if you understand me. God knows some of my friends don't understand me, but we can try to come sort to some sort of arrangement and understanding. I'd love to know where you came from or where you are right now. Do you live in a different world? Listen, I have to go soon because it's, it's, it's late. I need to get some sleep. Would you like to say something before I go? Chance of you saying Scooby Doo before I go. <laughs> yeah. I hate the bush. Like. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Please, I'm begging you. Please say Scooby Doo before we go. It'll make me very happy. listening right now I have to go could I speak to you tomorrow by any chance
Oh, I'm turning off the radio now. Goodbye and thank you for coming through. If you have, if I missed what you said, I can hear you when I play the footage back. So I'm sorry if I missed what you said. I will hear you. Goodbye. Right, that was me. Uh, that was me talking to a bright red. Yeah, <laughs> that was me talking to a bright yellow radio for twenty five minutes. If um, if I spoke to anybody else, it remains to be seen. So you know, I'll play it back and see if I got any responses to my mucking around tonight. But, um, yeah, that's the cost. The cost PP257. A small little armband radio that people used to use, you know, when they went out walking or jogging or whatever, and they put in a pair of headphones and listened to the radio. You know? And obviously things change now because phones do all that. But, um, you know, I think it's a good wee radio. You know, in the beginning when I seen other people using it, I thought it was a bit noisy and that. It just depends what kind of speaker you use and what kind of volume levels you use. If you use a low volume on the radio and turn up the speaker, you might cut out some of the static. There's a sweet spot. You have to balance the two volumes. You know, sometimes you'll get more static coming out if you crank up the volume because you're cranking up the static noise as well so it's good to muck around if you have two volumes volume on the radio volume on the external speaker balance them out as best you can so you know you get the best sound you know just you know mess around with it and see how you get on but anyway i'm gonna go um Ten past midnight. Uh, had a great day. I had a full day uh, out and about, which was great. And I got to walk along the beach. It was it was painful, but I got out and I, I got I got to walk around, and got to see very nice places. So yeah, folks, I will see you soon. And um, you know, I have a number of radios coming to me soon, including how many? Is it two or three costs? Or no, Timex. You know, the Timex radios that I started using lately. Great, great quality radios and that, you know. And uh, I recently got another Timex, the Timex T307S, um, which I uh, hacked yesterday as well. So, um, Right, I'm going to go. Good night, folks, and uh, thanks for watching. Before I finish up, I want to give a, a shout out, and that's what they call it on YouTube, um, to Kim Fitzgerald Rock Fam. Kim has been a, a supporter of both the channels for a couple of years now, and you know, almost every video that I post. She all she nearly always comments, and it's very much appreciated, you know, um and and she she, you know she is a a supporter of the other channel as well, uh, Life After Life ITC Research, and you know maybe sometimes she she you know. She misses them for a couple of days and then she catches up and then you know I'll get comments on videos that. I done a couple of days ago, and she's kind of honest with 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 the sessions. She'll say, you know, I feel you got communication with that one, or, and she will say, you know, if she felt like she didn't get any, you know, hear anything, she'll tell me, you know, that kind of way. Um, but a massive shout out to Kim, who's been a supporter of the channel for a long time, and. You know, and thank you to everybody. You know, um, 
you know, when I started YouTube a couple of years ago, I thought I, w I wouldn't get any more than a couple of hundred. You know, now I've got 200 and 240-odd. No, 220 on the Life After Life ITC research, and I've got 2,000... 2,400 or something like that on the the main channel, uh, you know, and I'm great, really, really grateful for that. Anyway, folks, goodbye. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and, uh, you know, the summer's coming. The weather's getting good. I am actually getting out. At the moment, I'm sp I was spending time with friends and that but you know i will be taking the camera out and you know we're going to be seeing some interesting places and possibly getting out and doing some itc and paranormal stuff i don't know what's going to be in the form of ghost hunting because i'm trying to i'm trying to do something different kind of thing and i'm still trying to think of what to do but um, just looking forward to the next couple of months because you know the last two years has been a bit of a dumpster fire, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm feeling positive for the future, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed because it's flipping late. It's one o'clock in the morning, you no. Know? So thanks very much, folks, for watching, and I'll see you soon.